What's up, gamers? Today, this video is going to be how to get a bunch of items in uh, Sunken Land. So I'm going to show you where to get them from, uh, what they provide you. So hopefully, if you're starting your new journey on Sunken Land, you kind of have an idea of what to get and how to get it. So let's get into it. So item number one, rubber. If you've been wanting to know how to get rubber or yeah, that's how you get rubber from tires. Next is one of the more obvious ones here, scrap. You get scrap from these scrap piles. You can get them from dumpsters. You can get them from about 10 different things, but this here is uh, a main source. It gives you about six each time. All right, next you've got these dumpsters here that are gonna provide you with an inventory full of random items, such as trophies, uh, clothing, and then also cloth, wood, scrap, rubber, glass, and components. If you want some cotton or cotton seeds to make cloth, that's what it looks like right there. You can find it on all the islands. If you want to grow your own trees, chop down these bushes and get you some bush seeds. Maybe you keep seeing this herbal medicine requires red algae and you're not sure where to get it from. This is what it looks like and you can find it just about anywhere underwater. It's fairly rare, but you can find it. If you need electrical parts, check these green boxes. That's where you get those from. Also, if you need chemical substance, you can get them from the red barrels as well as scrap metal. These toolboxes here will supply you mostly with flares and a few other things like glass and cloth and components too. Heck yeah. Now, if you want the good stuff like blueprints, you're gonna have to find these safes at each different POI and they will give you some awesome stuff like a jet ski and some money and broken weapons. Now, if you want some gasoline and scrap metal, you're going to look for the regular colored barrels like these. If you want some more blueprints and other little items for decorations and house things, you're going to want to look for these guys. You can see we've got a modern lamppost and fish tank in here, so that's pretty cool. And this right here is the gold mine. This is where you find advanced parts, which is going to be one of the harder things to get in the game right here. So make sure... You're always looting these red boxes. Another thing here is leather. If you need leather, leather couches. Chop them up, get you some wood and some leather. There you go. Now, if you're needing lots of cloth, check for washers and dryers, whichever this is, uh, and that will hook you up with some scrap metal and some cloth. If you're at one of these POI islands and you're looking for some food, these stoves right here, uh, we'll provide you with food, water, and charcoal. The refrigerators are the same as stoves. If you need some food, there's nothing in this one, but I'm sure there's some in some of the other ones. <laughs> These giant dumpsters here are going to come with a load of scrap metal. An absolute too much. I can't even carry it all. Now, if you need some ammo or you're looking for gun parts or maybe broken weapons to craft your own, these ammo crates right here are going to have gun parts and all kinds of ammo as well as broken guns in them as well. In some instances, you'll also come across this cargo container that you can open up here uh, and get you some more blueprints. Look at that, man. By the way, if you're curious where I'm at, Twin Rock, lots of blueprints here, lots of blueprints. If you're at one of these base places here and you're looking for some medical supplies, look for this thing on the wall. It's going to have antibiotics, uh, lung boosters to help you breathe longer underwater, as well as some bandages. If you want some crab meat, you got to kill a crab. Stupid crab. If you want some iron, you'll find it all over all bunch of the islands as well as underwater. I highly suggest purchasing the ore detector from the shop lady right here. If you need some marlin skin, you can just chop these guys with a melee weapon like a spear or a machete. Or you can hang out on the top of the water and shoot them with your crossbow. There we go. Marlin skin. Oh yeah, and large fish meat too, I guess. Just in case this is the first game you've ever played in your life, this is how you get wood from trees. In case you didn't know. You can also get strawberries as well as mushrooms on certain islands. Now, if you've been looking for scallops, this is how you get them. You find them on these rocks that look like that with the shells on them. You just walk up and hold F and get you some scallops. 
If you need some shark skin, don't be too afraid of them because they're really not that dangerous. Just get you some, just get you a melee weapon like a spear, chase them down underwater, spear or a sword, and just whack them. They'll get you a time or two, maybe, but they're pretty easy to dodge, honestly. There you go, shark skin. I believe that wraps up absolutely everything. Maybe I missed some things. If I did miss some stuff, let me know down in the comments. And do me a favor, I challenge you. I challenge you to just say hi. I'll reply. Tell me where you're from. Something like that down in the comments. Uh, make sure you like this video and please consider subscribing for more Sunken Land and other survival game content. You guys have a wonderful day and we'll see you on the next one. Peace!